Okay, in the previous chapter, we have seen the various components of Golden Gate. Each and every component in Golden Gate serves a different purpose. In this chapter, you will learn about each and every single component of Golden Gate and its function. The first component of Golden Gate workflow is source DB. It is not the integral part of the Golden Gate architecture, but it's the database which is to be replicated by Golden Gate. A source database can be any database which is supported by Golden Gate. Before you actually start using Golden Gate for any source database replication, make sure you cross check if that particular source database is supported by Golden Gate release version. We are using Golden Gate 11G and the source databases can be Oracle, MySQL, DB2, Sybase, Teradata, etc. These all databases are supported by Golden Gate 11G. Capture process, which is also known as extract process, captures inserted, updated or deleted data from the source database. The extract actually captures data from transaction logs. In Oracle, it captures data from redo logs. Extract process takes transaction details and writes to source trail files. The extract process only captures committed data. Golden Gate can be configured for DDL commands also like alter, create, commands, etc. We can configure extract as a single process or multiple processes. Each extract process can work on different tables independently. The extract process can capture changes from a single table or multiple tables or a schema or entire database or from a single column or rows and even you can set up to capture data for where clause. Source trail. Extract process writes all capture transactions to a staging file known as source trail file. Data in the source trail file is written in big blocks to improve the performance. And once the source trail file is created, it is actually ready to be distributed to target servers. You can set size for source trail files and when the size is exceeded, a new trail file will be created. Golden Gate can also help you to remove the source trail files automatically. For example, you can mention the age of the file or the number of the files. Let's take you would like to delete all the source trail files which are created before three days. You can very much do that. And in case if you would like to read the contents of the source trail file, then log dump utility is provided by Golden Gate. You can use the log dump utility to examine the trail file. Next, data pump. The job of data pump process is to read records from the source trail file and send them over TCP IP network to the target servers. Data pump creates a target file on the target server which receives data sent over the network. The best part about data pump is it can be configured for data filtering also. Here data filtering means sending only data which meets certain conditions. The data pump can also be configured to transform the data. For example, from the source server, you would like to transform the date format. Or for example, from the source server, you would like to change the case of the incoming data, like from lower case to upper case. When there is no data filtering or transformation is configured in data pump, it is known as pass-through method where data pump simply passes through the data to the target server. Data pump is an optional component of Golden Gate, but it is good to configure it even when you set it for pass through mode. Let us understand what happens when data pump is not configured. The extract process will send data to target servers, but if there is any network issue, the extract process will fail and it will not create any source trail files too. 
if data pump is configured any network issue will only impact the data pump process right extract process will continue to create source trail files so when the network is restored the data pump sends data over network as we know that each and every component of golden gate can be scaled up or scaled down any time you can configure multiple data pump processes as per the requirement next component of golden gate architecture is network and we all know that how important network plays in today's world data pump sends the source trail data over the tcp ip network to the target server on the target side collector process communicates with the incoming extract process requests the collector process is dynamic and it is started automatically when there is any incoming request on the target server via the network during the data transmission over the network we can even compress the data to reduce the bandwidth any network issue will lead to delay in data transfer which in turn leads to replication delay before you can configure golden gate make sure network is already set up between source and the target servers collector runs on target server in the background and writes records in the remote trail files next golden gate component is remote trail remote trail file is exactly same as source trail file except that it is created on the remote server the source and the remote trail files are created under default directory called as dir data we will understand about golden gate directory structure in upcoming sessions the naming convention of remote trail files is two characters prefixed to the sequence number next component of golden gate is delivery or replicate process this process is responsible for applying data to target database the replicate process applies the data changes to target database exactly how they are written by the extract process at the source server similar to extract process we can configure multiple delivery processes on target server the replicate process can be independently managed which means you can start stop any replicate process as per the requirement the last component of the golden gate architecture is target database a target database is similar to the source database in other terms target database is where the source data is replicated hence it can also be called as replicated database or replicated source database the target database should also be a golden gate supported version you should always read the golden gate supported version details before implementing the golden gate the target database can also be of the same vendor as source database for example we can configure golden gate on oracle as our source database and oracle as our target database fine let us again review the golden gate workflow we have the source database from the source database the capture process will take or extract the changes the capture process will write on to source trail files source trail files are then fed or given to the data pump process data pump process takes the source trail files and sends them over the network to the target server on the target server collector process will listen to the incoming requests and it will write to the remote trail files so the remote trail files and source trail files are exactly same from the remote trail file the delivery or the replicate process will read the data and then write it on to the target database but in the entire workflow the one process which we didn't speak is manager process the manager process is used to manage all golden gate processes a single manager process runs on each server where golden gate is installed so when golden gate is started the manager process is the one which first comes up and in turn the manager process will start the other golden gate processes like capture data pump collector extract or delivery 
or replicate process etc the manager process also manages reports and produces log files 